Hi there, this is James from James Chipway Guitar and Total Guitar Lab and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to play four great blues licks in the style of British blues players like Peter Green, Eric Clapton and Mick Taylor. All these licks are in the key of A using the A blues scale and the sliding blues scale shape so if you're not sure how to play those click on this card here to go to my essential scales playlist. These licks are pretty short, they're easy to learn and they're going to sound great in your blues playing. So without further ado, let's jump to it. This lick is typical of British blues guitarist Eric Clapton's play. Let's have a look at how we play it. This lick starting down in shape one of the A blues scale at the fifth fret on the G string. I'm going to pick that note and hammer on my second finger to the sixth fret. Now this note isn't actually in the scale, but it's often added in when we play blues. Now I'm going to play the fifth fret on the B string and the fifth fret on the top E string. Now we're going to grab this double stop. I'm going to play the, B, the top E string at the fifth fret and grab the eighth fret on the B string. Now this is a little bit of a stretch. We're going to give it a big bend so you need your thumb over the top and you need to be backing up your bending finger here with this second finger to give it some extra strength and stability. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick both those top strings and then we're going to bend the B string up two frets leaving the first finger where it is. Now we're going to do that twice. Then we're going to do it again and let it down and pick the B string and then play the B string at the fifth fret. So, so far we've got this. Now we're going to do another double stop bend. My first finger's at the fifth fret on the B string. My third finger's at the G string at the seventh fret. I'm going to pluck those two strings and push my third finger up two frets. Let it down and pick it. Then play the G string at the fifth. Then play the D string at the seventh fret. Little bend on the G string at the seventh, fifth fret on the G string, and end on the D string at the seventh. Watch the fingering there, you'll notice sometimes I'm crossing over with my second finger here onto the D string. sound that will work well with these licks you want to use your neck pickup on your guitar preferably humbuckers but single coils will also do it and not too much distortion a lot of time when we play blues we use a bit too much drive just a touch of overdrive will work really well maybe a little bit of reverb and that'll set you up with a good sound which will work well for these licks <laughs> This is an example of a repeating blues lick. Now repeating licks are great for building tension and excitement in your solo. So let's have a look at how we play this lick. This repeating blues lick is coming from the A blues scale down the fifth fret. We're bending the seventh fret up on the G string, two frets. Then playing the fifth fret on the B string and the eighth fret on the B string. Now you notice I'm using my second to bend. I'm using my first on the fifth fret and my third on the eighth fret. You could use different fingers, but I find this one works well, so I suggest maybe you try it and see how you get on with it. Now we're going to play that little fragment three times. Then we're going to grab the bend on the G string again, bend it up, let it down and pick it, play the fifth fret on the G string, then play the D string at seventh. finish off we're going to go to the seventh fret on the G string, bend it up, kill it off and let it down, play the fifth fret on the G string with your first finger and end on the seventh fret on the D string. Now 
Now don't go anywhere because there's a couple more great blue sticks coming up in this video. But first I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more lessons, tips, licks and solos to help you become the player that you want to be. Hit the subscribe button below so that you don't miss anything and we'll get right on with the lesson. Notice the powerful sounding bends in this lick. These are definitely bends you want to explore using in your playing and also the cool little double stop move in the middle. This lick comes from the top part of the A sliding blues scale played up here at the 10th fret. Now I'm playing the B string at the 10th fret with my third finger. I'm going to pick that twice. Then I'm going to go to my first finger at the 8th fret on the top E string. Then play the 10th fret on the top E string. Now we're going to grab that 10th fret on the top E and bend it up two frets. Let it down, do it again. Let it down, then go to your first finger at the 8th fret and then play the 10th fret on the B string. So we've got this so far. Nice bit of vibrato on that final note there. Now we're going to do this part of the lick. To play this bit, we're beginning at the seventh fret on the G string. We're going to pick it and slide up to nine. Now, at the same time, my second finger is going to kind of follow along here because when we get up to nine, it's in position then to play this eighth fret note on the B string. Then we're gonna, we're gonna do that move twice, like this. And you can let it ring together to give it that nice bluesy sound. Then pick that G string note at the ninth and slide it down to seven. And then play five on the G. Here's what we got so far. To finish this one off, we're going to come up to 10 on the B string and pick it twice with some vibrato. And then finish by playing the top E at the 8th fret. A little blues curl on that where we just push the bend slightly sharp right at the end of the note. A typical kind of device used by players like Clapton and Green. two great tips to help you get the very most out of learning these licks. First of all, you want to be able to spot where they lie inside the scale shape. This means that whenever you're using the, the blue scale pattern anywhere on the neck, you'll be able to find these licks in there. So look at how they nest and sit right inside the scale pattern. The second one is you've got to practice using them. So once you know these licks, grab a blues in a backing track and practice using them round and round over and over the backing track. See how you can twist them and change them into ideas of your own and see how you can mix them in with blues ideas which you already play. Here we're holding up a bend and re-picking it several times. Now this is something which we hear a lot in Clapton's playing, Peter Green's playing and other players from the British blues era. This lick's using a repeating bend. We're up at the 10th fret on the top E string. We're gonna bend it up two frets. Hold it up there, make sure you've got your thumb over and you're clamping the string up there so it doesn't start to drop down like this. As we re-pick it, you've got to really hold it up there and pick it several times like this. Then we're going to pick it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pick it one more time and let it down and pull off to your first finger at the eighth fret. Now with your second finger, you might use your third, I would use my second, play the B, B string at the 10th fret. Then grab the 10th fret on the top E string again, we're going to bend that up. Play 8 on the top E string. 
and finish the lick by playing the 10th fret on the B string. Here's the whole lick. Notice a little blues curl here on that note. enjoy learning from this video and my other guitar videos then check out my online guitar academy total guitar lab in there you'll find a complete system for learning to play great blues guitar with courses like blues guitar launch pad blues guitar lick lab and blues rhythm guitar lab plus live training and many other cool features i'll put a link under this video so you can click on it and check out total guitar lab if you're interested that's all for me today and I really hope that these short blues licks we've covered have a positive impact on your blues playing. Take them, learn them, practice using them and I'm sure that you'll see that they will. Okay, so dig in, have fun, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.